Hello, it's Prue again, um, and uh, I uh, I felt inspired actually yesterday to um, share this uh, with you. I just finished it up just now, and uh, I want to I want to get it out on video while it's still really fresh inside of my my whole body. Um, it's how to use layered ternary harmony story to connect. To any being of higher intelligence, any being of consciousness even, you could connect to your higher self or the higher self of someone else uh, or the higher self of someone that's no longer with us or the higher self of any object, any story, anything in the imaginary world and do it authentically <clears throat> and using the layered ternary harmony story reasoning, allowing that to deliver a real reality experience of it. Because um, that's the real universe we live in. We've just been operating on a lower consciousness. So we're, we're going to use this to start bringing new things into our daily life in a real meaningful way. All right. Oh, couple before I move forward, you're going to see this new format with the recipes. I've decided to start presenting all of my um, uh, knowledge um, uh, regarding layered ternary harmony story, like as though it's a recipe, because that's I identify very much with still being a chef. At the, uh, I remember my chef days back at Tuco's. And um, I still feel very much like I'm that chef. I was, I was seeing miserable uh, customers and I, I wanted to do more than just have them experience a nice meal or a nice two hours. I wanted to help bring um, my paradise into their daily lives. And so it took closing the restaurant. It took setting me in a new direction to reset myself right here where I sit today as a universal chef, now beginning to officially share my first universal recipes with the world. And for that, you need two prior <laughs> videos. Um, the intro to Layered Ternary Harmony Story, which is a fundamental. Understanding it and starting to feel it, believing in it is, is the motor to all of this. I call it a reasoning motor. This is the logic that we can use our minds to test and validate that this isn't some sort of hocus pocus. We match it to observable, all known observable scientific uh, information and knowledge. And we layer onto that a known computer technology, architecture and dynamics to it. And then pop all that onto a hydrogen cosmos that runs it all. So we've got a new layer of quantum physics is what we're talking about. And that we use that to say, hey, thumbs up. I believe this stuff. Let me just go ahead and start using it. Just like using a cell phone. This is another feature of the cell phone that I'm about to introduce. Connecting to any being of consciousness including loved ones, including those that have tuned us out that are still living, those no longer with us, including artwork, including heroes, including so many things, and it's real. <laughs> it's an abstract world we live in. It's time to start accepting that, that it was definitely never this one-dimensional world that we thought. <clears throat> I mentioned that um, a prerequisite to this is that intro to layer ternary harmony story and applying it into daily life where we explore pretty much the, the layers of the mind, um, the universal layers of the mind. But just again, what's important about this is that it is a new view of our universe that layers a CPU layer and a software layer on top of the physical layer that we've been managing. It connects the spiritual world into all known observable physical science world, all observable stories, and it layers a computing architecture over it. All right, um, as we get into this uh, layered ternary harmony story, 
has what I these non-physical layers on top of the physical world. These non-physical layers are the layers that produce the physical world. So um, the imaginary world is very real. Not only is it very real, but it is the world that produces this very moment and experience right now. Okay. In other words, the physical world and imaginary world are one and the same, but put through a technological projector, if you will. We are those projectors. And just, again, dialing that into very specifics, we are much more than our five physical senses that we've been taught. We can sense such things as thoughts, we can sense our imagination, we can sense intuition, we can sense reasoning. These are uh, measurable, these are real, they just happen to not be physical. But that's, again, instead of it being uh, weird, that's just observable proof that all of this is, is real. There are imaginary world things and there are physical world things. They are both real. In fact, the imaginary world is our true home of our physical world. How can I prove that? The only thing that's real right now is the very now moment. A smidgen of a second ahead or behind is just imaginary. It doesn't exist. So all that exists is the razor blade of now. It's like a flame, but it's universal in layers, like a star. All right. Applying this all now, um, we're beginning to present the recipe. So this recipe on connecting to others begins with using this layered ternary harmony story reasoning that we've, that's newly developed that I've been sharing now with the world and our newly discovered very real imaginary senses, we are able to connect into the imaginary world where all things reside, including all beings of consciousness. Yes, a car has consciousness. It's made up of atoms. It's all done with in, in organized pieces and parts. We can talk to that consciousness at that highest level. And then as the layers go down to the mechanical layers and the, elect the, the energy layers and whatnot, it, 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 if the story's right, it produces something. The keys go into ignition, we start the car and we roll. But, but only in those sequent, magical sequences of thoughts. But it doesn't mean we're not connecting to the actual consciousness of a 67 uh, Malibu. <laughs> exactly, uh, Pixar, it's real. The, the, that, that, that capture of those personalities in those cars, that's real. Continuing on with our recipe, uh, we are connecting into that very real imaginary world, which we know is home to our physical universe, so it's very real. Now, we're going to introduce our conscious focus, and we're going to imagine the target. We're going to apply it towards the target of our interest to connect. And it can be anything, any living or non-living, um, a human, uh, animal, a plant, a system, an organ, a cell, a virus, that would be very appropriate at this point in time, a molecule, an atom, any object, physical or non-physical. We're zooming in now. We're building our recipe. Let's illustrate the power of that uh, instruction of, of, of applying our conscious focus. Um, I came up with this one. Uh, imagine we're at a lively party. All sorts of conversations happening. We're, uh, we're, we're helping ourselves to some appetizers at the table. And all of a sudden, we see some familiar faces. And now it was an ocean of chatter. All of a sudden, somehow, we can, we, we can, we can hear what they're saying. We can tune into what they're saying. This is the power of conscious focus. In other words, we are receiving all sorts of sensory input on a daily basis, but we tune it out until we want it, until we need it. And that applies not just with our physical senses, but with our imaginary senses too. 
and we're going to use that conscious focus together with LTHS reasoning to deliver us right to our targets of, of, of connection. Knowing that all of this is very real. It's just a new dimension. So here I am just pointing out some of the imaginary world, known imaginary world senses, such as perceiving something. One thinks the senses that perceive it, but then it's what we perceive of it. And that perception is based on the story programming that we are using, <clears throat> which tells us what it is, uh, how it relates to us, and whether it's good or bad. That's, that's, a, that's upgradable, and that's what this is. That's what LTHS is. It's a new reality that is a new module, that uh, a new story that that resets our perceptions in alignment with observable universal uh, uh, science, and with an overlay of computer architecture technology. So you can see any number of things. The highlighted ones are the ones we're going to use for this particular module. We're going to be using our perceptions and using layered ternary harmony story to retune our perceptions, um, to piggyback on the very real imaginary senses, thoughts. We're using our reasoning to uh, use the layered ternary harmony story to allow all this. Our thoughts and imagination, we're going to piggyback on them and our empathy to dial in with our imagination and with our empathy, these characters. And in a very real way, I might add. We're just needing to really work our minds through this programming to understand that our imaginary senses are just as valid and real as our physical world senses, and we were just programmed to believe they weren't. All right, now we're following the recipe further to get right down to right. We're focusing in like a laser beam now. So we're using this layered ternary harmony story reasoning and our imaginary senses, in particular, our empathy and our imagination and our understanding of our target that we, our best understanding of our target, okay? So, and now we're gonna imagine now. Here's our target, and now we're gonna, we're gonna drift through the known layers of the physical world. The hydrogen makeup, the water makeup of it, its DNA basis, if it was a, a, a living body, uh, maybe somebody on the other. Then we go up into the being of consciousness now. We've left the physical world and we're in now paradise story. We're in the imaginary world. And, with it, and we are now accessing all consciousness there, all consciousness, and now we tune in from there to our target source of our connection, knowing full well that we are really doing this in a newly discovered world, and it's just as valid as our physical world, even more valid because it's the sponsor of our physical world, but we were just dumbed down in a lower consciousness, not understanding it. Okay, so now we're, we're, we're right now at the cusp of our, our recipe. This is the most important part where we're using the LTHS reasoning and our imaginary senses. We're, we're using everything we know about that target, that what they looked like, what, what the, the, the time they lived, their taste, maybe their stories. We're, we're using our empathy and our imagination to, to place ourselves as that person, as though we are that person, imagining ourselves as that person. This is a process of the best actors. This is what they do. We have it. We All of us have this. Stick with me here. Now we're there, and now we invite them to come in knowing that we are grounded with them through layer ternary harmony story reasoning that these very real imaginary world senses and the very real imaginary world have delivered us to our shared consciousness and now i am inviting that target into my body to share our body for joint consciousness to connect to converse they accept we are now now we are imagining ourselves as them, we imagine them, 
and ourselves in a process that doesn't look too different than talking to yourself but very very deeply imagining the conversation like like a dream but understanding this is much more than an imagination much more than a dream it is the understanding that we are connecting to a very real imaginary world that has laid outside of our our um, detection due to lower intelligence programming now newly discovered and now using layered ternary harmony story reasoning our minds can deliver to that frequency and we can have real connections understanding it's real it's just on a different dimension one of many dimensions in closing i i use this daily i use this to connect to my heroes my gang what i call them leo uh, Bach, Al, um, you know, I, Gwei, Gwei Mana. I use this to connect to all my heroes. I use this to connect to Earth. I use this to connect to to von Humboldt. I use this to connect to so many things, to plants, to 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 Paradise Story, who who has created all of this to me within that, in my higher story. And I strongly recommend it. I see results in my daily life. It doesn't just is real. It doesn't just feels real. I see active, real, what, I, what you would might call miracles manifesting in my daily life that align to all of this without my effort. They just, they just happen as little coincidences, but they coincidentally always fall in the really good basket. I wish this for you all, and I wish everyone a wonderful day. And uh, give me a little thumbs up if you liked it. I should maybe share it with some friends. Take care.